So I thought I'd do a quick video, here we are on a Monday uh, morning. Had to be a Monday, so we got a burst hose on the machine almost straight away. So we had to uh, abandon it and bring it back to the shop for uh, repair. Basically what we had to do is strip all the floor out. Um, and steam clean it. So we can see where we're at. And basically it was the hose right down in there, goes on that fitting in there just there the burst, tiny hole in it but enough to spray oil up hit the bottom of the floor and then spray it back down again so basically just a big pool under there as big as the, back, big as the bottom of the machine and uh, the problem with it is it going from there it goes right underneath and uh, the back and um, goes right out under here with a little bit of a tray in it to catch the oil because we have to take off a lot of pipes to get to it but it goes up you can see where it come from it goes on that bit in just there screws on on there so to get that one off you can't get it off easy you've got to take the one off next door to it and then um, that's on the valve block and you also have to take two hoses off of here as well to get a spanner in there to undo that so all in all and a bit of a nightmare for a Monday but that's the way it goes so we get the new hose on there and uh, see if we can get it fired up and working again so here's the new hose we made up the length that's the one so we'll have to get that back in down there as you can see there's a lot of hoses down there go to the valve block the pump so we'll get it down into the base in there right and then go into the machine and hopefully hook it up and then put the other end back in there so we got the floor back in fitted back up you see the remnants of the old oil down there what's left of it we got the uh, new hose back on underneath which is up in there which is that one there the smallest one luckily they put a smaller end on it so you can get a span on it easier instead of uh, using a bigger span like the other ones have got where you can't get a spanner in between them so in the future it'd be easier if one next to it goes um, blows then that um, be easier to get that off now that's got a smaller fitting on it so we can get back to work with it now and hopefully it should be alright anyway that was just a quick vid for you just a repair video on the old girl still doing service 20 years later <laughs>